Hello friends, Lee here from Tabletop Bomb. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're gonna take a further look at Vaporizer Basics and investigate what the terms sipping and ripping mean. We're gonna get into that and we're gonna talk about some of the different vaporizers and how you can identify what kind of vaporizer is a sipper and what kind is a ripper. Okay, the key thing here, we all have a little bit of a different expectation of what we want to get from a vaporizer. Some of us want to puff and have nice, flavorful, low temperature puffs, you know, smoking it like a joint, just that kind of thing. And I'm going to demonstrate these so I won't spend too much time on it. So, you know, there's that kind of puff, puff, right? Low temperatures, very little vapor super flavorful that is the most appealing to some people and to other people it's you know smoke like vapor as high temperature as thick a vapor as you can get without incineration for some people that's what they want the biggest fattest clouds right like and there's something in between all the way along for for everyone so how do you identify this, right? Like this can be a big deal to figure out the personality of a vaporizer along with your own personality so that when you do invest in a vaporizer, especially when you're new to vaping, it's not like you already are bitten by the bug and have started collecting like some of us have. You're at the beginning and that's totally cool. Let's help you make the right decision so that you really fall in love with the whole vaping experience and you'll be so, so happy that you did in the end. And that's the point of this, right? Let's help you get to the right decision. So let's start with sippers, okay? So this side is more representative of vaporizers that are conducive to a sipping technique, okay? What we have in the middle I thought I'd bring a couple of vaporizers and put them out here that are sort of somewhere in the middle between sipping and ripping, right? There, you can kind of work with them both ways and there's reasons for it and I'll talk about that as well. And over here, we have vaporizers more conducive to really ripping on them, right? Like big direct to lung inhales, the huge, huge clouds. So we're going to walk through this really quickly so that you can understand what's different between these vaporizers. Let's begin with sipping. You know what, I'm going to just take this Utilian, it's a Utilian 721. Uh, nice little vape, right? And it's, it's kind of in the middle of these two categories. So I'm going to fill it up and I can show you some stuff along the way while we're talking. Uh, makes it easier, right, with a full visual. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn this on. And we'll let that preheat. It, it heats up pretty quickly. Uh, the reason I, I, I like this particular vaporizer right now for this demonstration is because I'm going to show you both sipping and ripping and a hybrid technique as well. So I, I need a vaporizer that will do all three nicely. And I just thought this Utilian 721, I've had it a long time. It's been in my collection for, I don't know, eons anyway. Um, I just thought, why not this one for a change? <laughs> right, what the heck? So let's start over here with sipping. So primarily what you're gonna find with sipping devices What you're going to find with sipping devices is that they have a more restrictive airflow. So what that means is the way you use it is going to be different. You're going to use a technique that works with a, like a puff puff, like something like that, or smaller, uh, smaller direct to lung inhale, which might look something like you know, smaller puffs. In these smaller puffs, you're gonna take in less vapor, but it's gonna be a little bit more flavorful. And um, it's very unlikely that you're gonna cough 
very much using these techniques unless you're on high temperatures. Right, these little puffs. Makes for a very, very comfortable, simplistic vaping experience. You get plenty of, of really nice flavor doing this. And trust me, there's no shortage of uh, psychoactive effect when you're using high THC marijuana or, you know, THC marijuana at all. You know, you're going to get that psychoactive effect just like you are with the ripper, right? You might feel a little more buzzed if you're really ripping on it, but that's, you know, a whole other thing we'll talk about in a minute. So this, what these are primarily, they're going to be called either conduction or hybrid heaters, but they are primarily conduction-based vaporizers. So you sip on them because you... What conduction means, if you recall, is that the oven gets hot and it heats the weed inside the oven and holds it in the vaporizing range until you draw and remove vapor from the, the weed that's already being generated from the heat inside the bowl. So these, if you draw on it too long and too hard, you have a tendency to cool the entire bowl down which is going to make for an inefficient vaporizing experience. So if you're taking smaller puff, puff, puff kinds of draws, it allows the oven an opportunity to keep up and to keep your weed in the vaporizing range. So primarily, a lot of times, you're gonna see conduction vapes are more of a sipper. There are lots of hybrids, but if you look at, say, all the Ariser products are using glass stems like this. And these glass stems have those four holes in them. And those four holes are how much air can flow through them, and that's it. They're maxed out at that. So they're, again, more conducive to small sips than big rips. Now we have these in the middle, which you can sip and rip. It can kind of keep up both ways. This X-Max Star E4, it has an adjustable airflow, which means if you want to rip on it, open the airflow a little bit more and allow a little more fresh air into the, into the mix, and it won't demand quite as much on the oven. You can run at a slightly higher temperature, and you can get bigger rips while doing direct-to-lung inhale without cooling the oven down too much. So, let me talk to you about a hybrid inhale technique, which, you know, I'm just going to reload this. I've been puffing away on it, and I want to be able to repeat this technique a few times to really get it embedded into your understanding. This is often a technique I use regardless of which vape I'm using. I find that it gets really, it does a good job of getting the most out of your vaporizer if you're not using a water piece. Like obviously, uh, you know, when you're using a water piece like either one of these, right? Like the tabletop bong and the 500 mil, which is perfect uh, to mate with the vaporizers that you're going to really be ripping with, right? You want all this nice uh, water and diffusion to cool that vapor because these, when you're ripping on them, you're going higher temperatures, you're chasing huge clouds. You really want the cream of the crop here to to be able to, to cool and diffuse that vapor so that you can really, really enjoy it. And conversely, down here on the other end with this little desktop orb, for instance, right? This is a nice little water piece. Uh, but it's what it's going to do is it's going to give you more diffusion out of the glass than it is out of the water. So that really preserves the flavor, but it does take the terpy bite out of it that kind of hits you in the back of the throat and can give you that terp cough, right? Especially when you're working with uh, devices like these conduction vapes that really have a tendency to throw a lot of uh, flavor and really seem to... It used to be thought, sorry, I'm going to jump on a different train of thought just for a second. I'll circle back. It makes sense in just a second. Trust me. Uh, it used to be 
sort of a mindset in the vaping community that if you had a conduction vape, it was a, you know, less quality, it was an inferior vaporizer to say, you know, some of these uh, convection vapes that are available now. But, you know, <laughs> certain companies really pushed that and challenged it, like DaVinci with the IQ series, the IQ2 here, it has absolutely amazing flavor and I dare, you know, any one of these convection vapes to try and keep up when it comes to flavor with this IQ2. It's, you know, <laughs> there's not too many that are gonna give it a run for its money. So, you know, it's it's not that convection or conduction vapes are a lesser vaporizer anymore. Maybe way back in the beginning, people thought that because the technology hadn't caught up yet, but people are doing some really wonderful things, you know, and like the packs, right? The whole pack series is, conduction as well right like these are all known to be really nice quality devices okay so the hybrid technique of inhaling that i'm going to talk to you about to really get the most out of your vaporizers right so there's the puff technique puff and inhale right mouth to lung or there's direct to lung So you have those two techniques. But what I do personally is I do a hybrid. So I start with direct to lung, a short direct to lung, and then I convert it into a mouth to lung inhale. And I know this sounds super goofy perhaps, but it really does make a difference in, uh, in almost all vaporizers. I just adjust the beginning like the direct to lung inhale part if i'm on a pure convection vape or a hybrid that is mostly convection i make that portion a little bit longer when i breathe in and then switch to the mouth to lung so it looks something like this so you see direct to lung and then switch mouth to lung And what that does for me is it seems to give me the best puffs. So if I now, what I do is I string those back to back when I'm using hybrid and convection vapes and I'll do smaller puffs like that and a few of them with conduction vapes and then let it recover. So with a conduction vape, it looks kind of like this. And then you get that really nice puff, super flavorful. You know, I'm not chasing massive clouds doing this. I'm getting all the flavor. So now if I'm using a, a hybrid or a convection <coughs> and I want to get a bit bigger of a cloud, I'm going to you know, stretch that beginning part out, that beginning part of the inhale to look something like this and I'll get a bigger cloud by, you know, strengthening the whole draw and lengthening this beginning. So then you can string those back to back with these pure convection or hybrid vapes. And you can get some really, really big lungfuls without getting that, you know, that <clears throat> in the back of the throat that makes you want to cough. That's why, you know, I use water 95% of the time with my vaporizers because I have a tendency to cough. So it's important to me to find these techniques, right? And then, of course, on the other end of the spectrum, we have these pure convection or hybrid leaning convection vapes that really offer you an opportunity to really do those big direct to lung inhales and ripping, ripping them through the bong, you know, and getting the really big clouds. So of course it comes down to which way do you want to use your vaporizer? Do you want to find out or do you want to, you know, do you want to sort of sip on it while you're sitting back and watching a movie and 
you want the whole thing to be a really super simple, super flavorful experience. You know, kind of like if you're puffing a small little joint to just, you know, hanging out. That's cool. Then maybe these convection vape or conduction vapes are going to be more up your alley, right? These sippers might fit you a little bit better than something that's going to require a big inhale to activate, right? So it's knowing yourself and knowing what you want to get out of a vaporizer that's really going to help. Now, how do you find out which one's which? Honestly, most of them will tell you, but just Google it. You know, if you're curious about a particular vape, so say, take this for instance, the Angus 1.5. This is a fully updated Angus. If you're not sure if it's a sipper or a ripper, you know, is it conduction? Is it convection? What's the deal with this? Just simply put it in the Google search. Is the Angus vaporizer a sipper or ripper? You will have no shortage of information pop up. People are always talking about this online in all kinds of different communities. So you'll get connected with the information. Believe me, we're a very helpful community with one another, right? Everybody's talking online and, you know, ha happy to help and happy to tell you exactly what to expect from a vaporizer. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to run through, you know, sippers and rippers and, and show you how to get the most out of them as you're beginning your journey into the vaporizer world. <laughs> All right, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this or got anything out of it at all. All right, until next time, take care.